The number of earthquakes southwest of Wichita and Sumner and Harper counties has fallen dramatically in recent months. However, in the last 24 hours, there have been five quakes recorded, two in Coldwater, Kansas, and two more across the border in Cherokee, Oklahoma. Cake's Chris Frank says the big drop has occurred since March after key action by the Kansas Corporation Commission. This is new at 6. Chris? Yes, Chris, that KCC action in March ordered a reduction in the amount of wastewater disposed from oil wells back into deep earth wells. No conclusions yet from the experts, but they are taking note of the drop. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, is, I'm, is that a, that's another one? That's another one. This earthquake occurring last year, even while I was interviewing the Freeport Postmaster on the subject of earthquakes. So much seismic activity in Sumner and Harper County got the attention of geologists and state regulators. Geologists theorized the quakes might be the result of wastewater from oil wells being forced back deep into the earth for disposal. So March 19th, the KCC ordered a reduction in wastewater disposal. There's no question we've seen a pretty dramatic reduction in activity since the order went into effect. I think the question is, what's the source of that reduction in activity? This graphic from the KGS shows the drop in earthquakes in the region. After going several months in 2013 with few or no earthquakes, the timblers increased to nearly 30 in November 2014. There were 25 reported in March of this year. After the KCC order, you can see the drop in quakes, including a two-week period in June when there were none. Anytime there's less activity, I think we're, folks are, feel good about that. But he says he's still not ready yet to draw conclusions. To sit here and tell you that we know definitively what the source of this reduction is, I think at this point would, would be premature. So the governor's induced seismic task force act uh, is in the period of monitoring those results from the order, which reduced some injection well inputs by 60%. We'll check back later to see if they finally make some conclusions from that.